All right, this video is gonna be for if you're doing your logo primarily in Sketchbook up until the last third of the project. We're gonna create a new file in Sketchbook up here, top left, hit new sketch. Make sure that the chain right there is unlinked as mine currently is because you need to edit both the width and the height. We're gonna make them a square. So do 1500 by 1500. That'll simulate a good square that we'll take later into Illustrator and then go ahead and hit create. If you pinch and pull, you'll, you know, get a better view of your entire thing. Now we need to import our images. The icon in the top uh, middle that looks like two mountains, hit that. That'll bring you to your photo album. And you will need a real lion, a logo lion, or illustrated lion, and a flare item. I'm going to take my real lion in first, size him up again. I just need him really for the face, the eyes, the nose, the mouth. And then I'll hit done. While I'm at it, I'm going to grab the other two as well. So I'm going to go back in. I'm going to grab the illustrated bit stretch that out a little bit hit done go back in one more time and i'm going to grab the flare item being the crown in this case we'll be able to size all of these later just making them big enough for right now this bottom layer that i have right here that i have selected i'm going to swipe this guy to the top because i'll be drawing on him for now i'm going to hide the eyeball of the flare and the illustration one just focusing on the real lion um, I'm going to change my color to black for all the outlines. So I clicked on that double puck and I moved it to black. If you don't see the double puck showing, go to the bottom center circle of your iPad, click on that and you'll see five options appear. <coughs> you want the one, uh, fourth one over that looks like a two light traffic light will make that appear. While I have my lion selected or the lion layer selected down here in the bottom, I'm going to click on it again to bring up the layer menu. And I want to do two things. I want to lower the opacity somewhere around in the 50s, maybe 60s, and then I want to hit lock layer. Um, we'll get to the other ones in a little bit, but we're not working on them now. <clears throat> Make sure that you work on this top layer right here. You want everything done on this layer outside the photographs. I don't know if, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll try paintbrush. Um, over here in the paintbrush settings, click on it. Make sure your opacity is 100. The size is going to vary. There's a better way to do size, in my opinion, and that's this slider right here. But again, keep it absolute black for this part. All right, I'm going to just start outlining just to show you kind of what I think. That's too big for now, so I'm going to decrease that. And again, these lines will absolutely have to be touched up in Illustrator, so not the biggest deal in the world right now. And you're just going to go and outline all essential components of the line. I'm going to pause the video here, and then that way you can watch me outline the rest in silence, and uh, we'll combo these together. All right, till then, take care.